this trading idea the first one we have equal international equal international is our trading buy um on 14 uh february and the stock has gained about 18 percent to pick at a 39 and a half cent slightly below our second target at 40 and a half cent um the subsequent consolidation or the subsequent minor correction so the downside was pretty much kept within this uh, 50 day moving average as the stock continued to create new high low structure um, for the past few uh, months so if you look on our trend it's pretty much intact and in fact the gain as per yesterday bouncing off over the 50 day moving average on the back of improving momentum signal um what we call a continuation of the prior uptrend if you look back on your left side here you also seen a, re uh, a resistance right within at 34 at 35 cent and now those resistance uh, has turned into a become uh, immediate support so in terms of overall trend structure we think there's decent chance for the stock to continue to trade higher so we are actually reiterating our technical buy with a new and higher target at um 40 and a half cent, 40 and a half cent is our pre recent second target. We actually introduced a new higher target at 45 cent while uh, revising our stop loss higher to at 33 cent. That means in terms of risk to reward ratio uh, is quite decent, 1 to 3, which means 8% downside risk versus 25% upside potential. All right, um, second trading idea will be Hecta Industries. Now, uh, Hecta industry is quite uh, interesting. Now, there's no what we call that a stronger breakout move yet but i do think uh, it does look like a potential breakout soon now the problem with this kind of setup it may take a while before you see a significant move for the stock regardless the sign was there one you can tell that um, the stock has been uh, forming a uh, so-called bullish divergence for past few months particularly when you saw a new high low structure in uh, rsi uh, was um, you know pretty much by uh, lower low structure in uh, stock price so this actually uh, is a what we call it uh, bullish divergent signal um, the trend also has been improving the reading um, and trading volume while it will be on the lighter side we think that's this there is a, actually a question of spike so this actually could be accumulation um, in progress and we do think a breakout above the current uh, or immediate uh, high at 37 and a half cent could actually kick start a new up cycle now let me show you something else i think over here that what make uh why i saw it more interesting so if you switch over on this weekly chart um you see that the stock has been building some sort of the what we call that um uh, baseline and the momentum over here has turned more i would say positive one um the RSI now has been traded above the yeah, long-term average line and now bouncing off over this uh, average line. That means indicating that the momentum trend has started to shift upward. Um, the momentum often seen as the leading indicator. So while uh, there's no movement on the price yet, we think um, the breakout is actually in the cut. Regardless, um, um, the risk to reward ratio also quite interesting, which means you are actually risking about 8%. Uh, downside risk uh, with the cut loss below 35 and a half cent um, but you're looking potential uh, upside of 24.6 percent uh, with resistance actually pay at 41 cent and 45 and a half cent all right last but not least will be in nature in nature uh, has uh, built what we call a much more uh, stronger baseline after stage of breakout move on 5th april above the 88 day moving average so the subsequent consolidation saw the stock is actually build a new high level structure along 33 and 13 day moving average so momentum continue to improving the trend in the positive territory trading volume also start to pick up so despite yesterday slightly weaker um what we call that candlestick pattern uh, we do think in terms of the trend structure has start to uh, you know turn more favorable so we expecting further up cycle to continue with the next resistance pack at 36 and a half 36 cent and 40 and a half cent while the cut loss will be below 28 and a half cent risk to ratio is decent one to three which um 9.5 percent downside risk versus 28.5 percent upside potential uh, for in nature there is a quant scoring we are using quant style of quality with the scoring at 5.85 <music>